Today's video is going to be another video response to Benjamin Cook, but unlike yesterday when I talked about one of the main channel becoming YouTube videos, today I'm going to talk about one of the second channel videos called Why Do Views and Subs Matter? There's a link down below if you want to watch it. As far as YouTube and video blogging goes, the amount of views a video obtains and the amount of subscribers a channel has can be a pretty big deal. I think that's because YouTube isn't really like Tumblr or Blip. On those sites, the amount of time something is viewed and the amount of people that like it are anonymous. On YouTube, it's right out there in front of you. When it comes to YouTube, you can literally see the measured popularity of any given content creator at any given time on the home page of their channel. That alone is enough pressure to build your audience as quickly and efficiently as possible, but I also think it's important to factor in the individual content creators. For a good handful of content creators on YouTube, the amount of views and subs they get is very important because it's how they make their money. YouTube is a job and an occupation for a lot of people, and views and subs are very important for them because the amount of money they make depends on how many people watch their videos. You can ask the question, do subs and views matters when looking at those types of content creators, and you'll get a different answer than if you're looking at a smaller, lesser known channel like mine, where technically, I guess, subs and views don't matter at all. From my relatively small channel, I don't make any money off of YouTube so there's really no incentive for me to make a video other than it's fun. So you can say it really doesn't make any literal difference in the way that I make content if I get one view or a thousand. That said, I think the question Ben poses in the video isn't so much geared towards do subs and views literally matter, and more towards do they matter to the personal content creator. And the answer is definitely and without question, yes. Any content creator who tells you that they don't care about the amount of views and subs they have is lying. All artists throw their content out into the world hoping for and expecting feedback. And it doesn't really matter if they love creating whatever they're creating, if they never receive that feedback or don't receive as much feedback as they want, then they start to lose motivation to create. Again, if you look at my YouTube channel, I have about 800 subscribers. I don't make any money per view or per like or anything like that, but I still giddy up with joy every time I see a new comment. To the content creator, it doesn't really matter if the feedback they receive affects the world in any real way. It affects them. While every new like and comment has no real world effect, it boosts the morale of that content creator and makes them feel like they're good at what they're doing. And I think that cycle always has the potential to both inspire and scare YouTubers into making the best content that they can possibly make. Another question that was posed in the video is that among views and subscriptions, which one is more important? Hazel Hayes answered subscriptions. The way she explained it was that a view could represent any person that watched your video, whether a subscriber or someone who just randomly clicked on your video and then never saw your face again. Whereas a subscriber represents someone who has connected themselves to your channel and is loyal to you and the content you create. What she means by this essentially is that a view on one of your videos by a subscriber is a much more important and valuable view than someone who just randomly clicked on your video. In a way, I both agree and disagree with her answer to this question. It definitely makes sense that there's a difference between a regular view and a subscriber view, but not all subscriber views are the same. By the rationale of subscriber equals loyal fan, then why doesn't every channel get the same amount of views per subscribers? Just for example, imagine a content creator who has 20,000 subscribers, but every video they make gets 5,000 views. While in theory a subscriber represents a loyal enjoyer of your content, the reality isn't always like that. What I mean is that one number doesn't need to be compared as more important than another number. Views and subscriptions should work together, and if that happens, then a video can receive far different feedback and view count than others. Yes, a subscriber's view is more important than a regular view, but the view of a loyal fan is more important than both of those things, and I'm sure that that's what Hazel meant to say in the video, and it's basically what a bunch of other people said. <sighs> okay, this is the last video response to Becoming YouTube, I promise. Uh, you know, probably not. The Becoming YouTube videos are very interesting, and they're purely observational, so they provide for a lot of discussion like this, so I'll probably make more of these in the future when more Becoming YouTube videos come out, if they ever do. Okay, that was day 24. Goodbye.